Hello everyone, it's Shiat from TechBerzura and today I'm here with another video and our today's video is about the Android 11 for Redmi Note 9 Pro. Recently, the community of Strix has ported a new ROM for Redmi Note 9 Pro and it's based on Android 11. And today on this video, I'm gonna talk about all the features and bugs of this ROM and also gonna tell you how you can install this on your Redmi device. So without wasting time, let's get started. <laughs> So this is our Strix OS and it's based on Android 11. And now it has been released for Redmi Note 9 Pro, but the thing is it's not official right now. But soon they will release the official stable version. So on this version of Strix you'll get kinda of this kind of home screen and it's similar as any other AOSP based ROM. And on this version of Strix you'll get only 16 apps pre-installed here. So on this version of Strix you'll get kinda of this kind of home screen, it's similar as any other AOSP based ROM. In this build of Strix, you'll get kind of this kind of notification panel and it's similar to any other ASP based ROM. But the thing is, here you'll be able to enable the hotspot, the Wi-Fi and the mobile data at the same time. Let me show you. As you can see, I have enabled the mobile data, the hotspot and also the Wi-Fi. But the minus point of this ROM is there is no auto brightness option on this notification panel. So as you can see, you will get a peel button here and with this option, you can switch to any of the previous apps you have been used, like this. So this is our settings panel but there's nothing to show that much because it's similar to any other regular ASP ROM even it doesn't have any animation on the settings panel. Let me show you, there's nothing. As there's nothing to show that much so I'm gonna keep this video short and I'm gonna talk about some bugs right now. I'm using this ROM for 3 days and I have faced some serious bugs. Like I was using the WhatsApp and suddenly it crashed and at the night I was talking to my friend with the messenger and it crashed I don't know why it was crashing maybe they will fix it in the next update and now I'm gonna show you one bug if you go to the settings panel and go to the display and advanced and if you tap on the style and wallpapers it will crash as you can see it crashed so the main thing is it's not stable as they said, it's an unofficial version. But soon, they will release our official version for this ROM. Hope that that will be stable. And on the camera section, you'll get kind of this kind of layout. It's a basic camera. I'm not gonna recommend anyone to use this camera because it doesn't have any features actually. I will recommend you to use the Google Cam. Actually, there's nothing to talk about this ROM. So now, I'm gonna show you how you can install this ROM. So for installing this ROM, you'll need these two files, the Strix Cortana ROM and the Cortana FW file. And also you're gonna need a Linus recovery. With the TWP recovery, you can't install this ROM. I've already made a video about it, how you can install the Linus recovery on your Redmi Note 9 Pro. It's on the i button, please check it out. So after installing the Linus recovery, reboot to your recovery mode. So after rebooting to your recovery mode, go to the Apply Update, then find the zip files. Now firstly, you have to install the Strix Cortana. So after the installation has been done, we have to install the FW file. Don't forget to install it cause if you don't install it, you will not be able to use your SIM card. Actually, the signature verification has been failed, just tap on yes. After the installation has been done, go to back and go to factory set, format data, again format data and your data will be formatted. After it's done, go to format cache, tap on yes, it will be formatting your caches. After everything is done, just reboot system now. And as you can see, it's rebooted to the system, now just set up and use this ROM if you want. But I will not gonna recommend you to use this ROM, cause it's buggy. So this was for today, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.